Hello, hello. But I wanted to uh, react to... Let's record my reaction to Heihachi. I'm really excited for this character. Ever since I saw him, ever since I saw him at EVO um, live, man, I was so excited. The first DLC, um, honestly, that I was really looking forward to. Um, and uh, yeah, honestly, let's just get into it. I can't wait to see this guy. Check it out. Hey, Hachi Mishima, oh boy. I wonder if he's gonna have some kind of like DLC mechanic, you know? Like a meteor or something. He'd be the first Mishima to have something like that if he does. Should a new stage. <laughs> you can see the <laughs> fucking monks in the background. Oh shit, there he is. And you know, this is actually the, the first time I think we're hearing a new voice actor for him. Because his, his previous voice actor died, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Sounds pretty similar still. Hey, Hachi Mishima! <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, he's a new stance, okay. Yeah, he's a new stance. Nice. I look like almost like Lydia. 1-1-2, oh no, it's 1-1-2 wall spat, oh no. Nice. Sugi. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Yo, he's... The hell? Oh my god. Alright, we gotta see this interaction with Gazia. You gotta see that, yup. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> nice. Iron Hand Punish. He's reminding me of a lot of Lydia right now. Like, obviously, he's, he's obviously Hayashi, but he's got, like, stances and shit. Oh, the heat dash. Oh my god, that wall combo. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay, his razor. Oh, <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god, that was sick. Okay, interesting. So, I remember before, he looked like he was like kind of like younger for some reason. But now he looks like he's still old. He looks like he's... Yeah, he looks the same. Early access... Oh, wow. Mr. Release October 3rd. Oh, yeah. I see he actually comes out available uh, for me on my birthday. That's pretty cool. Battles. Yeah. Stage. Cool costumes, too. I saw them. I'm gonna go back real quick. I want to see the costumes. Oh, this is gonna be the same time. Nice. Oh wow, this comes at the same- that's probably why they were waiting, because Heihachi's part of it, in terms of the story. That makes a lot of sense. Wow, hold on. Watch this again. Wanna see... I'm gonna watch it one more time. Four or three. See, right there, that is definitely like a stance that he has now. 
Like he had a stance before. He had that um that stance where you could do like a punch parry. But I don't know if it's that if that's the same thing. No, he has armor there. That, that must be a move. It's very interesting. It's a new move. He's got tons of new moves. That is so similar to, to Lydia to me. I wonder if anyone else thinks the same, but a lot of this, what I'm seeing, is very similar to what Lydia does. Iron Hand for the punish. Corey Business, he looks so cool. Yeah, he does. He's awesome. I'm definitely going to play him. 100%. I played him in Tekken 7. He was one of the most. He was honestly one of the most fun characters in that game. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays in this game. Look at that wall combo. That was crazy. Try it again. Launch dash combo. Wow, that's so cool. Block. So yeah, this must be. This is exactly what I was like saying before the trailer started. I was wondering if they would give him um, some kind of mechanic, some kind of DLC mechanic, and I think we just saw it right there. That is not something he used to be able to do before. This. This is something different. It looks like his moves get boosted. Maybe he gets like new strings too. That's crazy. I wonder if he's gonna be the best Mishima now. <clears throat> that Rejar is sick. How did this man live? Harada just said, yeah, he can live. <laughs> by, all, by all accounts, it doesn't make sense that he, this man lived, but, you know. It's Tekken. It's Tekken. That's, that's all the answer you really need. And it, I think it's really interesting, like, how this is going to play in the story. Because by the end of Tekken 8, spoiler alert, Kazuya doesn't have a double gene anymore. And neither does Jin. So... If Heihachi was able to compete with Jin and, and and Kazuya without any Devil Gene, he's probably the strongest character right now. Oh, actually, I guess there's Reina too. I feel bad. I don't know if I ever play Reina again. Yeah, I mean they do see some. From what I'm seeing right now, they do look like different. Like, I but that was like one thing that I was definitely like unsure of how, what they were gonna do. What is it? Oh, I like Raising Soul. Raising Soul is cool. Let's let's check this out. Great content creator right here. Watch this real quick. Is this just him showing off the combos in the trailer, or did he actually like get a chance to play? Or maybe maybe it's just to be like a breakdown of the combos. I like how his scar like wait we see that look his his scar like flashes. I wonder if that's like that's like Kaja specific. Look, see that. His, his his like burn scars like start flashing. Fight. Oh, this is yeah, this is gameplay. Yeah, look, he has a meter. Um, look at his right underneath his life bar. He has a meter, uh, like a, a emblem thing. I didn't realize the gameplay was that. Yeah, I didn't either. See, dude, all of that just there, that looked like Lydia shit. <laughs> Is that just me? <laughs> like, it's not exactly like Lydia. Don't get me wrong. It also looks similar to Steve in a way. I know he has like that string where Steve can like break your guard. You know? This all looks really cool though. Oh, this is Heat Smash. Oh, that's cool. 4 4. What the hell? 
definitely has more stance mix ups. Yeah, exactly. He has way more stances. Before, he only had, like, the one, really. Okay, that's his he burst. What the fuck is that? What was that stomp? Okay, so his sweep is still not true. Good. But I say. Good. It should be like that. Punish that, right? Nice four four two. This this feels like almost a brand new character. Like obviously it is still Ayachi, but this feels so new at the same time. He's doing shit like I've never seen before. <laughs> But it is still the classic. Oh. I wonder what that that emblem thing does for him. Oh, the rage art. All right, let's see this again. I wonder. Oh, he's gonna die here. So let's see. If there's like any like special outro. He kills him with it. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My plan is depends on you waking your devil blood. What? Wow, okay. I can't wait, I want to see that again. He's train he he's personally training Arena. My plan depends on you waking your devil blood. You know what I must do. Do you think it's gonna be like Kazi and Jin versus Reina and Heihachi? That's kinda sick. If that is what happens. I don't know if Kazi will go along with that. <laughs> but that'd be pretty cool. Like, yeah, weird. Trying to make her go double, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Instead of just killing her, yeah. He's like, he's like, well, like a gong. He's like, yeah, he's trying to use her. We'll we'll see how this goes. Cause the thing is, right? I feel like the the story is like flopping around a lot. Like in Tekken Seven, it made it seem like he was like the protagonist, right? Like he's a good guy trying to stop the devil. But now he's literally trying to cultivate <laughs> a devil in, into fruition. Like he's like trying to make her turn devil for his own schemes. So, yeah, not much of a hero, obviously. But even then, we like he was never supposed to be a, a hero or anything like that. He's literally the first, the first main villain in Tekken. The new animation for 4 4 looks really cool. I like that. I don't know if you saw. He's a new animation for 4 4. Right here. That's new. That was cool. Sidestep. And then splats. Oh my god. Is he smashed? I actually splat them to the wall. Super dead. Alright. Does he have a special quote against Reyna? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, wait, look. In the, the top left, he has like three stacks of that um thing. Yeah, he needed the animation updates. Definitely, definitely. I wish Kazuya got a few more, because Kazuya still has some animations that are old. That... I'll show you, uh, if you stick around, I'll show you what I'm saying. But his Wild Racing 4 is one of the, the animation to you somewhere. I'll, I'll just say that. Um, But, yeah, look. He has like a 3 next to his um badge thing. Just like Lydia. Because it does have those legacy ones. Yeah, he does. I wish that they gave him some of the... I, I like it and I don't like it, right? Like, it's cool that he still has the old ones. The classics, right? But these new animations look sick. Look at that. Why was 4 4? Looks sick. Oh, 
You must awaken the double blood within you. Wow. Wow, that's a punish. That's ridiculous. Do you see that? Wonder if it's only from going into Q or if a move gives him a stack like Lydia. I don't know. We'll see. But did you see that right there? That was a. That was a. What? How punishable is Lydia's hop kick? Like thir minus 13? That's a 13 frame punish right here, I think. Go away, please. Okay, look. Blocks that. 13 frame punish. You definitely could have just killed that combo. Am I right about that? That he is. Hop kick is minus 13? I feel like it is. Maybe it's like minus 14. But still, that's crazy. Yeah, he has like. When he has that those stacks, he gets a standing launcher. That fast? That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. That's a full combo from. from I, I'm guessing that's only when he has those. Those um things. Those emblems or whatever they're called. Yeah, he looks really good. He looks hella good. Uh, dead and thrown into the lava pit, right? Uh, but okay. in this additional story content, it will cover uh, kind of how Heihachi was able to. Uh, come okay, back from so the, the story is gonna explain how he lived. Cool. Oh shit, Heihachi made menu. <laughs> Very nice. I heard you can you can change the main menu to whatever character you want now. They, they they said that they can you can change your background to whatever you want now. Yes, I know. Finally, right? They were working on it. I I get why it took them so long because you have to get the lighting right. You know, you can't just plop in the character and it's it's gonna look bad. Love that they're gonna add that. Me too. Me too. Definitely definitely looking forward to that. It's definitely a good idea. Oh, he's underneath Eddie. Okay. Makes sense. Good choice in costumes. Definitely what I was. I think that's what everyone was expecting with the costumes, right? Oh, hey, look, they have the thing here. What's it called? <laughs> Rada's wearing the glasses. We don't have the switch on, but when you punch something, it actually has a hit effect. <laughs> Yo, nice shades. And of course, it's Yasuda, so we have. This is, this is the promotion. Gentle Monster. The ad is hilarious. $500 glasses? Oh, damn. I saw that. Model cause is so funny. Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. It doesn't fit him at all. But it's hilarious. Those glasses look like almost like uh, Doflamingo's glasses from One Piece. I don't know if you're familiar, but uh, almost like like Dofi's glasses. That looks dumb. <laughs> that looks so dumb. Oh, yeah, so they talk about it. Yeah, you can put any character you want. Awesome. That's really cool. Wait, can you like change like their costume too? Wow, look at that. Probably not. Or can you? You can change her costume too? Whoa, that's that's even more than I thought it would be. Brian will be on my menu for sure. Cool, cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm gonna go probably gonna go back to Kazuya. That's my main anyway. But you can choose different costumes. That is awesome. So I can actually have like a different costume for my like on my screen. That's really cool. I wonder if you could put a custom costume. But it, it just goes to show how much actual uh, proper lighting done by the art director uh, can really yeah, bring He's talking about what I was saying, like, you need the right lighting. You can't just throw the character model onto the screen and it'll look good. Every character needs, needs like specific lighting to make them actually look as good as possible, which is why it took so long. It looks good. It looks really good. I'm happy with that. So far, besides Heihachi, obviously. That's like the coolest thing I've seen. Um, what's this? Okay, so they're they're adding some changes to practice mode, and special styles getting a buff. Oh, okay. Nice, nice to have a Tekken that doesn't look a decade old. Yes, yeah, seriously, I've been wanting this. What they're talking about is now, if you're playing like on a PlayStation controller, like if you're playing on a controller like this, if you touch the left side of the pad to reset. 
you go to the left side of the stage. Like Street Fighter has had this for a long time. So now you can like touch here, you reset to the left, middle for the center stage, and right like the right of the stage. I've been wanting that for a long time. That's that's good. It's very good. So see, he's touching to the right. He's at the wall. Now he's at the, now he touches the left. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's a very good change. But yeah. Tuning the rank points that can be earned. Increase the points rewarded for winning against opponents of a higher rank. Decrease the points awarded for losing. That's good. That's very good. Um, because there are a lot of times you'll fight against someone who's way better than you and you lose just as much points as losing against someone that was lower than you. Like, it, it, that doesn't just, that just doesn't make sense. Like, why would, this guy's rated to probably win against me, right? They need to change the rank points. Yeah, this is, this is good. At least the right direction. They're, they're looking at the, the points and, and changing it. Reduce the amount of fluctuation in points if a point is four or higher. Good. Rank restriction, no limit, narrow the searches of for ranks. Oh, so you can actually put no limit now. You can like literally just match you with anybody for ranks. Even like if it's Tekken God Omega or that's not even this game anymore. If you even you could technically rank against a god destruction. If like a god destruction player um put this no limit and you put no limit, you could play against them. That's what that means, I think, right? Narrow the search range. Or would it say well, shouldn't it say widen if it's that? I don't know, um, but interesting. Either way, it just seems like they're trying to improve rank. Possible to move to my good. I oh my god, I've been wanting this. It takes so long to go to the replay screen, but now they made an option so you can literally just go to replay from the match. That's such a good improvement. You can literally get your ass beaten. Be like, why did I lose? Hit the replay right now. That is, uh, it's finally gonna be in the, that is really uh, good. That so is really, is really good. I'm so happy about that. No it's joke, that is huge for improvement. Huge. October 4th through 6th. One thing like anyone will tell you when it comes to Tekken is that we just want to play the game. Archive, like we don't want to have to watch a replay. So the, make it, the easier you make it to go to a replay, the better. All right, this has been awesome. I want to play some actual Tekken. Let's go. We'll play Tekken. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I need to go to bed. See you later.